what is up you guys and welcome back to the epic pulse channel we are going to be cracking into some fusion strike today we've got six more loose packs and then we're also going to crack into some celebrations with another lance's charizard and a dark sylveon tin so i'll go ahead and get us started out with the first pack of fusion strike today if you guys are new to the channel or this is your first time here Make sure you get down there and smash that subscribe button for us. Help us reach the 200 subs as we are getting closer and closer. First pack of the day, we've got a Psychic Energy, Gliscor, Bug Catcher, Fusion Strike Energy, Chewtle, a Shroomish, Klefki, Trubbish, Totodile, a reverse hollow toxel and first pack a non hollow cladle to start things off we were fortunate enough to pull out that alt art celebi in our second build in battle box of fusion strike so some other big pulls in the set the alternate art mew the alternate art gengar and another good one is that hyper rare Mew, if we can manage to come across that, that would be pretty awesome. All right, we're going to be starting with a Water Energy, a Heat More, a Cook, Quick Ball, Pantser, Minim, a Baltoy, a Glarian, Corsola, Quillfish, Reverse Hollow, Garbodor, and a Non Hollow, Zorora. So, no big hits out of those first two packs right there we're gonna get into these gang R pack arts uh, let us know down below have you guys gotten to open up any fusion strike yet uh, the set releases this weekend so should be seeing it out in stores and on shelves Sec third pack in let's get it started with a metal energy farewell bell Galarian Lanoon, Stantler, Skarmory, Jinx, Mantine, Grubbin, Rotom, a Reverse Hollow Cross Seaver, and ooh, not a bad hit. Non Hollow Latios. Wish they would have made that a Hollow card in the set, because that would have been pretty epic. But awesome artwork, and one we haven't seen yet. So there is the code for that pack. We got three packs left. Another Gengar artwork and then two Bolton good boys left to open up. Let's see if we can't pull out an epic pull, full art or hyper rare. All right, we got a Ooh, got fire pack on our hands. Energy, a Frost Moth, Nine Tails, a to to Toja de Maru. <laughs> Something like that. A uh, Tynamo, a Galarian Meowth, Gossifluor, a Panpore, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Quillfish. Ooh. Ooh, a little V hit. All right. A little Rillaboom V, so not too bad right there. At least pulling out a V hit out of our loose packs. So there is the code on that one. You guys just seen the new style of code cards so instead of green and white now they have a black or white border so and i think they all say redeem on the front instead of tcgo so i think showing the code cards code uh, code side of the card does not spoil the packs anymore if i'm correct four to the front two packs left see what we can pull out of this one got a sidekick energy to start us off morgram barascuda copperaja volpix chancy zigzagoon Mankey, clauncher a reverse hollow slugma and a non-hollow acelgore all right and for code card on that one final pack for the fusion strike opening and then we're gonna crack back in to some celebrations we'll get these tins cracked open for us as we go through this final pack and 
see if we can't complete our Celebrations Master Set. All right, we got a Fighting Energy, a Fortunoro. That is a weird name. I've never seen that Pokemon before. You cool? You cool? A Schoolgirl, Bantump, Snorlax, a Snom, a Dreepy, a Muckahitta, Reverse Hollow, Mandibuzz, and an Unhollow Azamura. So one V card hit out of those six packs. So nothing too crazy coming out of the Fusion Strike packs. And I have seen a couple openings of those now, and it seems like the pull rates are going to be pretty tough for Fusion Strike. So we'll see how that continues. We do have a couple booster boxes coming, as well as a few ETBs. So if you guys want to see us crack in to those Fusion Strike products, make sure you let us know down below. So we got our packs of celebrations along with the two battle styles, two vivid voltage. So we'll go ahead and start it off with the battle style packs. Then we'll crack into that vivid voltage and then finish it all up with that celebrations to see if we can get a pull that we need for our master set. Got a lightning energy, Fjob, Heatmore, Firo, Bronzer, Tapig, Pachirisu, Mindfu, Baltoy, a Reverse Hollow Bolton, and a Hollow Aegislash. So not too bad right there to start it off. Code card for that one. And we'll go into the next Battle Styles pack. Let's see if we get some hits out of that. Green code on deck, so I'm not going to get any big hits. No amazing rares in this set. Yeah. All right. We got a Scroll of Scorn, a Bisharp, a Single Strike Energy, Frillish, Esper, Billbug, uh, Silicobra, Houndor, Reverse Hollow Bronzor, and a Non Hollow. Non Hollow Claydol. And that's going to bring us into some vivid voltage. Pulls we still need that amazing rare Celebi along with the full art Pikachu and a ton of regular full art Pokemon hyper rare trainers. Tons of cards in this set. It's a pretty big set and pretty tough pull rates as well. We got a Dark Energy League Staff, Charmeleon, Pincurchin, Riolu, Sandile, Whalmer, Weedle, Beldum. A reverse hollow Terkion and oh, regular rare Charizard. It's not too bad. He's pulling a Charizard out of the set. I can definitely deal with that for sure. And there is the code card for that one there. One more pack of Vivid Voltage. And then we're going to get into these celebrations. See if we can hunt out that gold star Umbreon, that shiny golden Mew. Uh, two of the big cards that we need left, and we've still yet to pull that Gardevoir EX. Uh, so another card that we're looking for. It's the last three cards that we need from that classic collection. So hopefully we can get those knocked out today. All right, we got a Fighting Energy, a Sableye, Galvantula, a Gogoat, Tailo, Sandile, Oshawott, a Paninko, Clefairy. Reverse hollow tail though, and a non hollow oh, electros. So, no big hits from the fusion strike, no big hits from the spare packs that come in the tins, but that is gonna bring us into the celebrations now to see if we can hunt out a card for our master set. And of course, pulling any of the big three would be epic as well. First pack on deck, we've got a Groudon. Cosmoem, ooh, Reshiram, and a little Mew. There's the code card on that one. Second pack of celebrations. Let's see what we can pull out of it. We got a Lugia, a Reshiram, a Palkia, and ooh, a Professor's, Professor's Research. Research. It's not too bad. A nice little full art 
pull right there. Code card. Roll into the next pack. Let's see, hopefully we can at least get a few classic collection hits out of here. And we got a Kyogre. Cosmog. Oh, and there we go. A Rocket Zapdos with some pretty good hollow bleed as well, if you guys can see that. The whole card looks like it's hollowed out. So not too bad, that is pretty cool. And then a little Zacian V right behind that. But we'll definitely take a Rockets Zapdos. Got a ton of those cards already. So if you guys need one of those for your collection, definitely let us know down below. I think that is probably the first hit of the day that deserves to go up on the background so hopefully these last few packs that we're getting into today our luck can turn around and we can pull some bangers out of them all right we got a palkia another restaurant a cosmog Ooh, Ooh and a pikachu. pikachu so not too bad Gold Star, Umbreon, Shiny, Golden Mew. Those are the cards that are calling our name right now. The Gardevoir, of course, would be all right as well since we need it for the set. Next pack, we got a Reshiram, a Lugia. Oh, oh, and the Mew EX. I will definitely take another one of those. That is an awesome card and a pretty tough one to pull as well. So I'm definitely good with that. And then another full art Pikachu behind there. But Mew EX definitely sleeve worthy and kicking a spot on the back side there. Got three more packs left. Let's see if we can get one or two more classic collection hits out of there. Or if we're lucky enough, that shiny golden Mew would be a pretty insane way to wrap this opening up all right we got a xerneas a dialga oh, oh and a dark, dark gyarados. gyarados so a nice another classic hit as well coming out and definitely sleeve worthy and another, another professor's full art research. professor's research can't complain about the dark gyarados so a couple couple hits showing up now towards the end of this opening so it is definitely turning out all right so far let's see two packs left if we can keep things going for us we've got the cosmog a dialga cosmoum and a lunala so all three evolutions in that pack right there and that is going to bring us down to the final pack of the opening if you guys haven't smashed that subscribe button for us get down there hit the subscribe button so close to 200 and working on our way to the road to a thousand make sure you smash a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video and let's see if we can get some last pack magic out of this one Ooh, see something shiny at the bottom all right we got a cosmog a palkia oh, oh and a tapu lele gx that is a pretty epic pull right there and definitely a tough card to pull and another full and art another Pikachu, Pikachu behind there. But the Tapu Lele, not bad at all. And definitely one of the harder cards to pull in the set. So let's go ahead and check out some of the epic pulls for today's opening. I will start off with that Rockets Zapdos with a pretty heavy hollow bleed on it. So that is pretty cool right there. We got the Dark Gyarados, awesome epic pull. The Tapu Lele GX, which is one of the harder cards to pull from the set. So nothing wrong with getting one of those. And I think I'll have to give the epic pull of the day to that Mew EX because it's just an awesome card and it's a Mew as well. So there it is. Make sure you guys sub up, smash that thumbs up button for us, and we'll see you guys in the next one.